Can you hear the birds this morning? Y'all see that? That's old driveway that goes back and it goes around the cabin. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a fence there. I want a really nice old fashioned fence over there and block it off. I don't need people driving around back there. And I, the way I'm hoping to do the, you know, the garden out the back door for shopping and stuff. Well, this is um, Memorial Weekend and we're not going anywhere doing anything. Uh, Kevin has gone right now to get light bulbs because we need lights in the cabin because we're getting back on the cabin because this weekend there are so many auctions. <laughs> well, there's not that many, but there was a there was a really great auction that I wanted to go to two and a half hours away. Uh, can't take the trailer because we haven't got the trash off of it yet. And that's too hard. That's too hard on me to go that far. And I, you know, didn't have a huge wad of cash. That kind of auction, you want a huge, huge wad of cash because stuff just like that doesn't come up. It had a lot of a lot of really good stuff but what i was going to tell you was the other day i was riding my hi everyone welcome to o'rourke's little field electric bike I had gone out to check my blackberries and I think I have quite a few wild blackberries y'all we're on the daily watch now every day look how luscious the question is, will I beat nature to I was riding, you can see here how the edge is. I was riding down the edge. Some motorcycle riders going up to Mount Magazine, two of them. We hear them all the time. Uh, the, I was riding along here and there's a white mulberry tree. And it put out flowers this spring, and I've been checking it to see if it puts on anything. They're rare. They mostly died out, and I don't think there's anything to pollinate it myself. It's a really sickly tree, but I was there looking at it, just, you know, creeping on my bike. It's quiet, and I saw something flick. I looked down, and I could see, like, this much, an eye. A head and an ear of a new little baby deer and I just eased on away and I turned away from the edge of the woods and went to check my plum tree which has one plum on it that's getting rotten and uh, I haven't gone back out there I'm sure she moved it I'm sure she was around somewhere it was little y'all it was little and you know had i been a four-wheeler or something riding off through there i would have run right over it but it did a good job of sitting still it was so precious but this memorial weekend that the one auction that i wanted to go to really got me to thinking at the speed that we're going on this cabin because the day i sat up there in the attic and worked y'all I'm too handicapped and oh my hips can't take that it took me like three days I guess to really feel normal again and I think I've about oh I think I've about got the old man talked into let's get some scaffolding because if I got some scaffolding we could just go ahead and tear that roof down and uh 
I mean the ceiling down, not the roof, the ceiling down. And I can still reach this stuff and clean it. Y'all look in my gutters. I don't know if there's too much glare. I think there might be too much glare, but you see the growing in my gutter. We got work to do out here. Support put back up under it, and we can just fill this hole. Somebody has filled it already. Look, you see this stuff right here. Somebody filled that in. That's like a putty. It's a putty. I can break it. So they didn't deal with it, and it, you know. It looks like it was like tongue and groove that's not together, maybe. You know, just from settling and pulling apart, maybe. I, who knows? Your guess is as good as ours. But this is the other cabinet for Mama V. She's itching to get measurements, and Lord, we had the the big meetup thing, and then we've had nothing but storms.
should we wait and make y'all wait till next week to see what it is? What do you think, Kevin? Make them wait? No, I'm not going to make you wait. <laughs> talking about what we've decided we're doing while we're taking these out. This is May, June. I cannot be stopped, but I can be open long before Halloween. Maybe I can be ho open by um, Labor Day. That'd be nice. Hit that holiday. Yeah. Now I am on the western wall. And uh, it seems that these rafters were kind of spared, and these back here really got loaded up, so... Anyway, Kevin's going to get a fan for us. Okay. <laughs> I got the hiccups. So they got to sell on a bundle of nails. Yeah. Well, now wait a minute. I thought you was going to take that edge piece down first. It don't matter. The same edge. Well, I don't want to break it. That's kind of neat wood. Break. You know, if we could keep it in long pieces, and if I'm building something, I got some. I got some stock there. I mean, that's that's not cheap anymore. And if that's 35 years old. You know you can't get nothing that, that is that good. That's awesome. I know one thing I'm cleaning up for building material and, and bobbing material. Uh, all of this wood, y'all, and that's not even talking about in there. Give me a lot of project wood. And this wood right here. I mean, I don't know how the back side, we gotta look at the back side, because there was a lot of mouse stuff, you know, and you don't want urine so. So here's what we're looking at. We have to take this top rail. Really, Kevin, we need to take all the siding off. It's gonna just hang, it's gonna drop and it's gonna hit the next lip. Both the lips. Uh I don't know. You think we can pull it past it? Because pushing up ain't going to be an option. Y'all look at all the nails. Let me see if I can get you on the nails. Here on these boards. Look at the nails. And that's just going this way. That ain't talking about what's under them strips. Yeah. After removing the top two strips of trim that we thought would stop the ceiling, well, the ceiling's actually up behind this top piece of wood. And he's going to have to see if he can get that out. I don't know if he can get to it. He's going to have to struggle to get to it. We'll see what he works out.
at that wood, y'all. Look at how thick that wood is. And, and look, look at this. Now, how, how hard is that going to be for me to sand is what I'm wondering. All right, we got a little bit of the live edge right there. That's pine. I just look lovely today. <laughs> when you're working in a dirty attic, that's just the way that it is. Taking the ceiling out might seem crazy to most people, but just for the the heat and cool aspect of it. But we really, really do want to um, put a tin roof on this thing and not necessarily a high dollar, you know, 30 year metal roof, just some old barn tin even. Uh, just, you know, we'll, you know, board and batten some, however you do it, the insulation up there and put the tin on. It doesn't have to be fancy. This is, my playhouse. Yeah, I got a pretty good gap uh, on this one top beam back here. Look right there. Yeah, but when the ceiling's gone, it's not going to show, except where that, uh, except where that is. And I'm just wondering what it has to do with where. The fireplace was in the wall because look, like I've shown before, there was a, a stove, a fireplace or something here. So we're sure it, the last thing was probably a stove, pot belly stove and a pipe and they've covered up. I'm just curious if there's a fireplace hole in there somewhere. Okay, here we go. Bye bye ceiling. Please be careful, Kevin. Okay. Bye bye ceiling. Please be careful, Kevin. Don't let it fall on
And here is the reason why, folks. Look. The wires will be dealt with and tucked away. I'm sure there's a whole lot of wire and that isn't getting used. We will get an electrician or something. We'll get that figured out. I see phone wire we don't need. So... Can you just imagine it? Look at it. Those look pretty good since I cleaned them off. The ones up on the, uh, way up there. Oh, yeah, on the ceiling. Way right? up there on the ceiling. The ceiling this good. side looks good. Oh man, Kevin. Yeah, we're gonna have heat and air, you know. We're, we will be having fans running. <laughs> And we will run these little uh, 110 units as long as they'll run. And we're also going to try to find some kind of fans to help the heat escape. We're not too worried about it. It's an old farmhouse. I wish it had the big windows that I'm sure that it really had at one time. <clears throat> but it's got these little windows. And since there's an air unit in it, I'll let it run. I don't care if the door's open or not. I don't care. That's a 110. It's just like running a light. From here all the way over. And I told Kevin, I said, you can see a difference in color in boards right here. At some point, they replaced boards. And I don't know if something fell on it. I don't know if it's all the way across. We'll see as we tear out the ceiling. But can y'all have the vision? Can you see the vision that I have? And with these walls, y'all. The floor, the floor's got two soft spots and two bad boards. But like I said, we have wood up there. And if I have to, I'll paint the floor. But I want to keep this type of wood. I want to keep the old school wood. I'll, I'm thrilled with it. So, maybe a couple boards that don't go. Oh, well. If I can save the bulk of it. Hey, I'll, I'll save the bulk of it. I, I don't care. I'm not proud, but... <clears throat> This right here. Oh, y'all. Maybe I'm crazy. But I love it. And. We look lovely. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you're glad you got some food in the, in the freezer or the refrigerator. And you don't have to get go out. I'm going to get a shower though, but that's going to be, that's going to be it. I'll be laying down. Me and my, me and my egghead. <laughs> I'm going to be really pretty tomorrow. Whew. It could have been worse. I really thought my nose broke. Cooler off. 